performers like you over there. If you're a performer and you own your masters, you definitely can receive a check from some exchange if your paperwork is right. And I actually see the performance fees have been reported and paid. See, again, the question that we wish to away from, mm -hmm. oh, how are we getting this money? Right. When, as, a, as, a, as a studying the game, as a rapper, I mean, I'm just, I'm just going to put it straight to you. I mean, are, you, are you, all your paperwork in order? Are, you, are you, your trademark, is your name copyright? I is just changed my name, and I'm actually yeah. getting it copyright. My name was Miss Stress originally, and I had to switch it because someone had that name after I've had this name for four years because I, I had no idea you know, about paperwork and trademark. I have to actually find out how much everything costs. Um, so I'm actually in the process of getting that done. I am registered with ASCAP. Um, all my music is copywritten. I sent it to the Library of Congress electronically, paid the $55 see, see, to get see, all of that. You see, you see, you see what's so crazy? She said that she she is registered to ASCAP. That's, that's, that's a good blessing for that. But you know one other thing that I want to put to you, which a lot of people out there, this, these are for the listeners and, and the musicians and you know those trying to get in the music business. It's good to to register to a pop company, ask a BMLC side. They're different pop companies, mm -hmm. which dominates the United States. But getting it into the system is one. Activating it into the system is something different. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, I mean, a lot of people out there, they they do know what to ask, but they're not educated on using the application on uploading their music into the system. Oh yeah, my music uploaded. Yeah. already on there. It was See, uploaded like the moment that it was copywritten. And before, yeah. The moment that I made it available to the public, I definitely made sure that, that, that I got Duchess for one is definitely registered. Mm -hmm. That is registered only for the words because the beat is already copywritten. Mm -hmm. So I had to get the words copywritten. Mm -hmm. So that way nobody would take you see, words. you see, I start off with, 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 with what? I'm going to continue a little bit of what you just said. I'm going to use an example. Take this down. She, she's a rapper, she's registered the music, obviously. I know you, you've heard of companies like BDS, yes. Media Base, okay. and, and SongScan. Obviously, that, that track has to be registered to them too. Yeah. I know all the applications that are out there. I know you, you've heard of ISRC codes Yeah. and UPC codes. Yeah. Okay, ISRC codes, just to give you a quick definition, but they are uh, international recording starting coding of music. Every, every, every record, every track, every video, even even now we're on the station right now, what we're saying got to be ISRC code. We can receive money for the show right now. Wow. You know that. Really? Like, really and true because it's been streaming. It's been <laughs> licensed. So I'm just, I need to get ready to that. <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm just telling you what it is. And, and with, UBC, with UBC now, because everything is, is, is digital. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we're, in, we're in the digital era. You know, and I don't want to jump so much fast into that, but I will quick. We have the analog side and we have the digital side. Remember, you, your music is coded, it's registered. Mm -hmm. You might have a little bit of money to do marketing and promotion, or you might have a few friends, like a few DJs out there, who's going to be willing to play your record. They play your records in the club, they play your record in, in syndicated stations like the one we're on, right now for interactive streaming and not interactive streaming. You do get money for that, as you know that. That's just a start. Now, what about going on here and doing shows? What about you know finding the right venues? Yeah. to target the right market. A lot of people, a lot of us don't know our own market and know what we have. And, you know, let's touch a little bit on technology. <laughs> technology is, is, is so crazy right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, me being in that world and for what we see, the music business has changed. Ooh, like, a to, to, a to a whole lot. And this, so this goes for the labels also, and it goes for the, ind the Indies coming up. Again, if you're audio and you're listening, Take note, get your ISRC code, get your UPC code, get your good applications, get your paperwork together. Because at the end of the day, if your paperwork is not in order, we have big networks out there. I, I'm not going to call the name because I'm actually, I'm a, I'm a licensed codist. But I'm, I'm, I'm put it this way. Think, think about you getting on a platform that's a big distribution company. Mm -hmm. And you go into that platform and you're an artist and you're audio and you're promoting yourself. You're promoting yourself so much where you, you, you have fans. And I know within that phone you have, you maybe have maybe two, three hundred people that love you and will buy your music. So think, let's say your music is in a platform and it's in a digital platform. If you're receiving five, six, seven, ten dollars, and in your mind you're saying, whoa, how can my music be in a platform and only receiving a certain amount of money? We have a lot of people right now in the world, in the music business, that are putting their music in platforms and they're not receiving the right money 
because the music are not coded, the music are not registered, the music are not licensed. Oh, yeah. So when it comes to the mandates and collect royalties, mechanical royalties, if you already know what mechanical royalties, mechanical royalties comes from the digital side. We have a lot of performers out there. You're jumping on stages. You only gotta find out if the stages you're jumping on and even the restaurants and the bars and the clubs are paying license. Because yeah. at the end of the day, if they're not paying licenses, then you're just a fool in the market, wasting waste talent. Mm. Hmm. So I'm just saying that out there again, you know, for Atlanta and all the independent <coughs> artists that's coming out, make sure that your paperwork is in order. Stay in tune with social network because it's not going nowhere. It's it's this stuck. It's stuck here forever. I mean? yeah. Forever. It it's, it's it's definitely the only way you can win. You know, I give you pointers again. Owning your own stuff. If you can own your own stuff and be able to track your own stuff with the companies like BDS, media based on SoundScan, then there's no way of nobody stealing you in it. Right. And that's the first thing I did when I got on the show. I wanted a name that would stand out, even like with my boutique. And I was like, okay, Curvilicious. And I kept saying, okay, Curvilicious Couture. Then I said, well, what would they call me? I kept saying, Miss Curvilicious. So the first thing I ran and did was like, okay, how can I get it licensed? So I now own Curvilicious Couture or and Miss Curvilicious. So anytime anyone go and pull it up, I'm going to always be the first one to come up. Yes. Because I was like, everybody kept saying money. When you really get out there, the first thing they're going to do is grab your name. And I kept looking like, okay. And I kept seeing other ladies come out with Curvilicious. They put a K on it and all that good stuff. And I was like, mm. wow. I was like, but sweetheart, when you go Google it, where are you at? You know, so the lady started telling me the information, what I need to do. And I made sure I went and got a license and got all that good stuff. And, hey, can't nobody else be Miss Curve yeah. Delicious. One quick question, and then we'll take quick. a little, a quick little right. break. Uh, my name is actually on my birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. You know, because that is all that mine. I always I like that. wanted to ask you. Right, and, and if you, even if you were to type it in on Facebook, there's another young lady that comes up. She's chocolate. She's not me. But... It's on my birth certificate. That is my name. What is your question? Like, so I still have to have that copywritten or registered or what have you, even though it's my birth name? Okay, let me put this way. I'm, I'm going to give you the, the, the old way, and I'm going to give you up to speed. You know when you, you mail yourself a letter? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, the poor man. Yeah, poor, poor man, man copyright. Man. Yes, that's, that's, yes that's, I still do that's, it. That's, that's I started school. off with oh, my daughter that but, way. But you, know, you know what's winning right now? And people don't even, even really think about it. Hmm. Domain. Email address. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your email address is one of the most powerful tools in every, if, if you notice in every application on the internet, Every yeah, site. Exploit, First know. thing they are always ask you for is what's your email address. Yep. Mine is Wilkins that chest at Gmail. Wilkins that chest uh, underscore Yahoo. Wilkins that chest at Hotmail. I maybe have all like twenty one email addresses. Oh, that's too much. Under my name. Okay, I have four. Well, mine is Mahog seven nine. Even though I was born in seventy eight, but seven nine. So again, my do I still have to have you, it you, registered? You, you still have yeah, you to because at the it's end of the people day, people there is people they will they will it's somebody they can out there still it. have your name. Yeah, she my last get, name is Raspberry. There's only five of us in the Like really, my last name is Raspberry. And all the porn star, you might want to look at. Don't do that. I have ID. She doesn't. I mean, that's I mean, something I always wanted to ask you was like, was that her real name? I was always if like, you look in the, If you look in the phone book, like, if, and I had to go through it back home so much, there's only five of us in, in the phone book, and I'm one of the five. Wow. And people are like, that's not really your last name. I'm like, go on my Facebook, type in Raspberry. You will see all my family pop up in there. That's my last name. But that's only in that area, though. Yeah. We have a big world. Have a big world. <laughs> it is. And, yeah. and I've learned that there are so many more because uh, somebody started the Raspberry Clan on there and we all we all were like reaching out like my grandfather's name is my great friend great grandfather's name is do you know of is anybody related to trying to see if we were all connected and what's crazy is and i'm definitely going to break out to this one somebody who last name is raspberry says well we really don't know each other can i get to know you are you kidding me oh, so if we were to get married what is it raspberry or raspberry like raspberry, no we're not, raspberry. we're not doing that you nasty <laughs> but anyway we will take a short little break we'll be back with mr chester and miss mo's juice box moment of the week <laughs> <laughs>